Well, there it is. Hey guys, welcome to a Warcraft 3 4 vs 4 random team game. We're going to be playing on Cherryville, and that's our map against Orc, Night Elf, Human, and Orc. Mm, no filthy undead. No filthy undead bases yes. to raid and pillage. Well, no bad. That's not too bad. That's okay. No Frost Tower to worry about, I suppose, in that case. By Frost Tower, I mean the Rubian Tower. Pretty much anything inside of an undead base, it all feels the same. Everything slows you down and destroys you. But I'm not going to go on about undead imbalance here, because there are no undead. So, that's how much of an effect they have on me, I suppose, is that I still talk about undead even when there's no undead in the game. We've got... Two Night Elf and two Orc. Not quite as good, but we'll see. Yeah, sure. Let's do some harass. That's kind of what this strategy is about. A bit of the old harass, and then they can work towards getting an expansion or something like that later. To be honest, I do kind of need an expansion, but I think I can get away with like a harass style of play. So let's try that. We try hard a little bit here. In the gold mine just help that out. Get every inch out of the gold mine. Do what you can. The old 4 p on gold mine trick. Blade Master is popping out. He's going to have a new buddy at tier 2. Depending on how the game goes, we'll have to wait and see. But this gives me a moment to breathe now and just spam out some peons. So, Silas Pierre says, Witty, I have a strategy for you. Could you go Blade Master or Alchemist first? Hero with the Shadow Hunter second and third hero. Any hero or third hero, anything you want. Uh, mass Raiders with Zeppelins and Raider Zeppelin. Harass while getting. Calcasters for Spirit Links. Shamans for Bloodlust. Troll Witch Doctors for Stasis Trap. Heal Ward Watch Awards. That's Century Wards. All three casters boosting your raiders. If the enemy goes mass air, then just get mass bats. Much easier said than done, but we'll see what we can do. And Kodos if you can for raiders. Instead, enemy heroes, then Acid Bomb, then a Hex and surround with your raiders. Now, this is where it comes a bit complicated, um, but I'll get into that a bit later. With two to three shredders for wood, yeah, I think one will do it. Let's see if I can even get one shredder. Have fun, hope you read this. Silas7, you're my number one commentator. Crota is my second. Lol, is what he says. I did not write that in there myself. Okay, thank you very much there. Let's see if this guy is up for the harass. It's a neutral hero. So let's go for it, my boy. What are you going to do? We're teching up. May as well treat myself to a... Lumber Mill. What have we got? Pit Lord? Well, I didn't see that. I don't think any of us saw that coming, but yeah, sure, let's go Pit Lord harass. Now, make sure the base is set up for raiders. I assume he wants to come up. Are we going up? Let's go up. Let's have a look. Let's do some harass. Oh! Perfect timing for some harass. Circle of Nobility. Now that is a joke. Circuit of Nobility on Blade Master. He's also going to be able to do Reign of Fire if he's chosen that for his Pit Lord. So send the Pit Lord in there. Get the Reign of Fire. Oh, it's an Arcane Tower. Shit. That's good defense. Not much we can do here unless we want to lose mana. I can trap him outside of the base. If you can cut him back. Ah, oh, shit. I wanted to see if he could go back. Pull the Archmage out and then I can block the Archmage out of the base. Back okay. He's just gone for it. He's going to lose all of his mana. Alright. I'll get the kill on the Archmage, but I not, might not be able to get out of this. This isn't ideal. We did get off to a good start, but it's a bit tricky after this. This Pit Lord's super injured. Had to wait for 75 mana there. Archmage is going to want to escape, so he might give me the opportunity to run out of his base if I don't get surrounded by this footman. Uh... <laughs> okay, I've got that, but now I've got to find a way out of this base. Oh my god. Yeah, good luck getting out of this. Just got to run around like a madman. I have got speed scroll. Blade Master's coming in. Yes! The dodges, the plays. Go, go, go. Oh, Nizip. <sighs> Freaking hell. I did so well, and then you got Keeper of the Grove that can just solidify you in place. Okay, well, I couldn't do much about that. I did what I could with what I had. Okay, let's work on the Raiders and that. I think for this game, what I was thinking was... 
going um, Alchemist second, but I don't think I'm going to have that luxury and not suck completely. Also, I'm not going to be able to get anything built here because of enemy Blade Master on my base, but my Blade Master will come out pretty soon. He might be silly enough to go for my peons at the back here, which would be a mistake. Yep. Because he wants to go for the buildings if he really wants to cripple me. Yeah, I think I'm going to need Shadow Hunter for a bit more control, to be quite frank with you. Shadow Hunter will give me that little bit more control that I'm after. Let's see. Something need doing? I am your something need doing? Yes. What you are to complete? Yes. Get pillaged whilst we're at it. Shadow Hunter's going to be coming out. He'll give me a bit more control, go for some damage, and then probably work on getting an expansion to fill up, I'd say. Also, that Shredder looks tempting. Which expansion is Pink going for? I think I want Witch Doctors first. I think you're going to... With the harass style strategy, you can't really afford to do too much else in the game. Okay, he would have probably gone now. Seems unlikely he's going to still be here. Wow, he is. That was a really long wind walk. It was level one. Did he double wind walk then or something? Looks like he really wants to be a pest. Damn, I can't stop him from getting out of my base. I was going to build a burrow here. Okay. I don't think he's going to risk it again. If he does, he's really upset with me for some reason. It wasn't even his base I attacked. Right, he's going for an expansion setup. I'm going to have to get myself an expansion set up as well. I can't delay too long here. Let's get one tower set. Keep getting peons. Probably go for double towers down in the middle bit. Unless this guy's going for the middle clear with a wisp. I don't know if he's thinking about getting the expansion there, but I need my expansion. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to afford anything you possibly want in this game. Who wants feed? I'll take some. <laughs> I'm going for his expansion as well. If I get feed, then I can go for another witch. Oh, Blue's back. Really doesn't like me. Not sure what it is that I did to piss him off quite so much, but there you go. This guy's actually surrounded my Blade Master. Alright, let's raid and rock. Something like that. Rock and raid and roll. I've got my tech going, so we're looking towards other units as well. Probably Shaman next, I would say. Let's see if there's anything. The reason why I want to make them all as well myself is so that I have more control. I can't use his to bloodlust myself up that easily. Now, let's have a look and see. I haven't got a town portal, so this is a little suicidal, but there's no expansion. So let's pull back here. We're going to want to get um, sentry wards pretty much everywhere if we can. You do want quite a lot of towers. Pull the Shadow Hunter back, get a town portal, go join these fellas. So, where's my yes, units? Lord. You're my units. Let's go. My units. Uh. Blue, once again, being a really annoying pest to me. Right. Teal's coming here. So, we've got a bit of a four versus one going on at this moment. Let's get a couple of shamans pumping out whilst we can. Expansion almost done. Plenty of towers to make sure it's looking nice and neat and tidy. I actually want the raiders on the more expensive buildings. Apart from that, really. But you see, 
the raiders, the pillage they get depends on the expense of the building. So if you're attacking the town hall, you're actually going to get the most amount of gold back. I believe that's how it works. I don't really ever use raiders all that much, but I'm under that impression that that's how it darn well works. Who's coming in? Right. Archmage looks tempting. Teal's out. Should we get some revenge on Mr. Keeper of the Grove? There's a lot of focus here. I've got to get back in a second. And he's getting healed as well. Screw you. So much anti-focus on me. Okay, whatever. Let's keep going then. Let's keep going with the gradual slog against the inevitable ends that seem to be impossibility. Whew. Okay, the enemy are definitely not making this easy. They do not like me at all. I'd love to get your Zeppelin harassed and all that, but I think, you know, you got to go with the flow exactly how the game is allowing you to play. And I don't think Zeppelin play is exactly on my list of things to do right now that are very easy to pull off. I'll see what I can work on. I need to get that Shredder going, so I can definitely have no problem with wood, which means no problem with tech. Which means no problem with slightly more towers for when the enemy do eventually attack, which will probably be me, so let's face that. May as well make sure we've got all the defences in place. You can actually distance snare this big guy so he doesn't actually attack anything. It's quite a while. What happened to me witch doctors? I managed to get some good sentry wards out at least. That human base does look tempting though. The, the town hall is fairly open. Right for the plucking. This is what I meant. This is what I meant. Of course they're going to come me. Why would they go anyone else? That's what the towers are for. Don't worry about that. I've got plenty more spirit lodges. Closer and more inside my base they get. He's just going to get massive heals, this guy. So focus on him. I feel like I'm going to lose all of my mana. But I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah! Thankfully, uh, we've got an awesome uh, town portal there. Spirit Walker's there, and they're not mine. No Spirit Walker's armor. I can't believe he's getting away with mass hunts. Build more burrows. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Let's work on those burrows in there. Yeah, we got enough buildings, I think. Let's go back for some more healing then. Zeppelins. I want something over here so I can continue getting Zeppelins if I need to. That's quite a lot of, a lot of feed. Right. <laughs> I got one raider still chasing, apparently. I don't remember that. Might have had him there for a while. Gam, back off. That's only level one hex. Jesus. Right. I was supposed to get a Kodo, so let's try to get a Kodo as well. And more shaman witch doctors. Don't tell me you can't reach the war mill. The one job you have. Haven't got quite enough raiders to take out a main base, I would say, yet. Although they've got enough chimeras to take out one of our main bases. Feels bad. Right. 
Actually, when we're level two hex there accidentally. Well, that went down. Do you want a witch doctor to put something down if I can? They're going for an attack up there. Red's a... Where is Red, actually? You find out where Red is. Uh. Don't know if I actually want to eat anything. I have. Don't think that guy quite understood the fight he was getting into. Yeah, I got mass raiders, but they're still quite useful. Oh, I got rid of the one I put down new. Let's try not to lose it. Okay, this is where it gets a bit more tricky. Let's pull them back in. Wow, Till got away with killing that base for free. Joys. These raiders are actually proven to be pretty damn handy in these battles. We've not even seen these Torrin yet. It's like the first time I've seen these Torrin in battle. Okay. Keep stepping it up on the upgrades now I can afford it. I will try to do Zeppelin Harass, but I think we're past that point. you just got some awesome raider and... Freaking caster gameplay with Blade Master and Shadow Hunter. Good team as well. Okay, so we want you, we want you, we want you, you. Go. So the Bloodlust and the Chimeras, as well as the Kodo Beast, reminds me I'll get the upgrade for Kodo Beast. Maybe get a couple more. Jesus, I'm not sure they've got a response to this. This is getting out of hand. I think I'm getting a hell of a lot of resources back just from the Chimeras. Um, just from the... Ex what am I saying? Can't talk proper English. Um, just from the... Uh, pillage! Thank you very much. Okay. Well, there you go. There's a lot of injured stuff here. <laughs> That'll teach Blue once again to just freaking be that annoying pest for some reason. Devastating. Try running away from that. 
He's got Divine Shield, though, but I don't think he was even inclined to use it. Oh, he's back again, is he? I'm gonna bloody chase that guy, guy down. Give me Bloodlust and Lightning Shield. Apparently there's not enough mana for the Bloodlust on my um, Shadow Hunter, but whatever. He's going to be a little bit slower then. Oh no, he got Bloodlust. It's, it's the Blade Master didn't get it. Where'd you... Blade Master go. Where's your play, Master, bro? <laughs> what did he do with his play, Master? Did he get killed somewhere else then? He teleported out. I don't know, man. That was a fun game. I'd like to give that a bit more of a go. And see what we can do with an expansion or something. So I can actually genuinely do a bit more base harass. Because I didn't really get to do much. That was just... That's your battle. That You got a lot of fun battles in that one. Unintentionally so. Like, I got away with a lot of murder there, really. You shouldn't really be able to do that much damage with raiders. But fortunately, Orange seemed to be a little bit new to the game. So he wanted to let me get a bit more powerful. Thank you very much there, Orange. Okay, welcome back. Battleground. Hmm, not quite the map I was after for a sort of like delicate raiding zeppelin style play because, well, you don't have zeppelins on this map, so that's going to be a bit more difficult. But perhaps we can just have another fun game because I don't particularly want to leave and, you know... Ruin these guys' game if I can help it. I'd rather not. So what we'll do is we will play it. Kind of similar how to how I played it last game. And it's going to be really difficult to get that expansion again. How am I going to do that? I don't know. The map's not being generous in that front. But perhaps that could be part of the fun. Is trying to get that expansion set. And keep it. Blade Master, Shadow Hunter. I need some form of anti yeah. There are the mercs. So yes, let's go grunts. It's a little, little late. I should have got them just a little bit earlier, but Blade Master can just go and do some things. Meanwhile, he's, he can creep everything anyway without the grunts. Oh no, someone's left. Okay, let's... Now I'm more enticed. Oh good, okay. There you go then. We'll see what map we get next time then, because there's probably a AFK guy or some sort of TK going on there. All right. Yep. All right. Welcome to this game. I'm a little concerned about the level one players in it, but we'll see. We have full scale assault, and it's a pretty darn good map. I gotta say, pretty darn good map for this. You can pretty much secure an expansion, but I will go for a little cheeky bit of gold early on. Which is going to be the Blade Master item, depending on what the guy above me is doing. Who is going to be the troll, I think, of this game. But I don't think he's any threat in terms of taking this item. Because it's mine! Well, we'll see. We'll see how the game goes. Who knows what's going to happen. But definitely get some grunts. Okay, there you go. That's how the game's going to go. Purple's just going to leave for no apparent reason. And there goes pink. Warcraft 3, 4 versus 4 RT. Okay, another game. Okay, now we're talking. This is probably the perfect map for this strategy. So let's hope we don't screw it up. Okay, I'm not on the outside. Great. 
I'm an orc. I'm a blade master, soon to be blade master anyway. Once that altar gets finished and the burrow gets finished on top of that. Now, one of the reasons why I was saying this map is so darn good is because there's a expansions pretty much for everyone. It's a really strong map to go some sort of siege tactic. So if I'm human, I typically tend to just go straight up into steam tanks like the scum that I am and mass those bad boys and send them in every which way direction. In this case, it's going to be a bit more delicate because raiders and that are a little bit more vulnerable than just shoving steam tanks down someone's throat. So you've got to be a bit more careful, but witch doctors will hopefully help with that. The sentry wards, providing the enemy team don't get their own sentry wards as well. That's a troublesome thing indeed, or the shade to see. Because that kills off all your sentry wards when they start to explore. Especially if they're dominating the game because they get map control. Then they can start picking off all your sentry wards that you've left all over the map. But we again way ahead of ourselves here. So let's try to go for the triple hero here. It's a lot more harder to control. But I'm going to try to make it work. So Blade Master starting off with. Standard build order. We've got Night Elf. We've got Night Elf. An Orc. Okay, so we're missing Human and Undead. Which means we're going to lose by the 15 minute mark onwards. So we have to win before that, which is tricky because this strategy does not allow us to do that. Or, well, it allows us to cripple the enemy enough that perhaps they can't get the big bad units that they want to. But I need to get a bit of fortune with my allies as well in terms of their harass. So they can harass strong enough to basically put pressure on the enemy players and not feel comfortable enough to sort of just tech straight up to tier 3 and get those mass frost worms. Whatever it is they might have, because I'm not entirely sure of their races. They might be in the same boat as me. I doubt it, though. There's always an undead. Um, yeah, you've got to look out for that. So, expansions are all in the middle, which makes it really easy for you to reach to. And there's bound to be one expansion. Like, it's just the way of it. I wonder if I can just go... F yeah, I think I can go straight for an expansion. I'm pretty sure Blade Marsh and the Grunt would be enough to creep this. Not 100% sure, but we'll find out. Definitely at least more than a Blade Master. What I can do if I really want to is just sell the Blade Master's um, town portal, or get a circlet, and then come back and do it. And I definitely can do it then. There we go. Get a super item. Skip out on another grunt. Get another peon. Come back over. Get ready. Come on, Mr. Blade Master. You're going to run out on your thing. There we go. Beautiful. That looks good to me. Do a bit of the old attack move for now. Oh, attack move into this deep sea. It's not exactly attack move. Okay, cool. You got an entangle off. That's not great, but that did move the units, so that means I can get this expansion going. I'm just going to build it. It might be even a little bit further back, but I want to get it going. Yeah, we're going to be just about okay here. Got another grunt coming in, so he can tank up some of the melee damage as well, if need be, but I think I'm okay. Looks good to me. I want to get Shredder when I can, of course. All that wood, all that gold, we can really work on that. Hate the skinks. Okay, get out of my base, you filthy skink. One more grunt as well would help me just to creep pretty much anything on this map. Three grunts and a blade master looks good. Let's just creep this actually whilst we're here. I'm going on the way back. That's fine. Ally town is under attack. Just annoying blade master getting entangled. Okie doke. Get a tech in a moment. Lovely item. Come back, sell the rubbish ring of protection. Heal myself up and then go get myself one of those shredders. But in order to do that, I'm going to need a burrow. So let's get a burrow going. Yeah, let's get the heals going. Wait for another healing salve. No rush. Hopefully no one interrupts me or attacks my expansion. And then we're all good. Another heal salve. Don't mind, I would do. Okay, let's head over to here. Get the Goblin Shredder out in action. Get access to that. Maybe a burrow or something or a tower. Maybe later on next to it so that I can secure more awesome uh, zeppelins out of it. Potentially for harass. But to be honest, the map, you don't even... Oh, okay, someone's interested in going for my expansion. Let's deal with that then before we do anything else. He's just scouting, but still. Yes, Lord. Master. Oh. Zug -zug. Dabu. 
Smobu, Dabu, Zug Zug, Smobu, Zug Zug, Work Complete, Dabu, Noktar, Zug Zug, Dabu, Smobu. Yes, Lord. Hey, are you hero and obey? Hey, are you hero and obey? Hey, Okay. Shredder on the works. He's mine. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So I can get another grunt. I know we're not supposed to really go too heavy on grunts, but they do actually benefit from pillage, and it does give me the chance to not die to anything too early on. All right. Heal south. Heal south. Feeling good. Now deal with the inevitable harass because that guy surrounded me. So that's annoying, but I should be able to handle this as long as it's only him. Get a good start on one of his grunts so that he can't do the same to me. He might kill one of my grunts, but as long as I get him out of my fucking face, that's fine. That's the main thing here. Because I don't want you in my base. I'm going to tech up again. Keep those techs going. Whatever. You get a little bit of experience. I can't do shit about this. Because you're in my base. I don't have anywhere to run my grunts off. You can run your grunts off easily. Alright. He's at my base. No more harass for you, fella. You're not going to get this one as well. Nope. He'll salve that. Force him into coming out of Windwalk if he needs to. And that is a secured expansion. That's all I'm interested in right now. I know the shit that I get from these pests harassing me. Screw them. And let's concentrate on getting the strategy done because it's stressful stuff, especially the amount of games I've had to play to get this to this point. Okay, just play dude, teleport him back, Ancient of Winds. That blade master's out of my face, coming over here. And now Blue's punishing him for his greed. So let's go and see if he went for an expansion himself. Because if he did, then I can go and pester him and return the favor. Don't mind if I do. Unless I run into another player. Bloody hell. Not having the best luck this game, am I, fellas? Okay. So did we get that lumber mill down? Do, 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 do. Being chased to death. By Teal, who seems adamant to go for broke. Is that Keeper of the Grove really that low? That's crazy. What the hell are you doing? Right, red. If this is red, which it is. No expansion. Good, good, good. Make sure you're out of the game. You're my new target if you want to be that pesty dude that really wants to give me a hard game. Just like Blue in the earlier stages. Okay, well, I'm definitely too vulnerable here. But I can definitely put some pressure on the Blade Master. Now get the hell out of there. Okay, that's done. Let's get Witch Doctors. Let's go for Raiders when we can. Keep running away, because we certainly can't take that. You guys are going to get ready to build a whole bunch of towers, because we know that I'm going to be targeted a lot this game, as with every single game that I ever play. Okay, seven, eight. Tech is complete. I think I wanted to get an Alchemist, but ugh, I feel like he's going to cost me the game. <laughs> All right, let's get that War Mill up, boys. So close to getting that War Mill up. I really want it because I know that attacks are going to be coming my way soon. Alki missed. Good lads. And also Shadow Hunter. Good lads. Towers, 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 towers. Grunts. Okay. We're a bit behind on essentially getting experience, so let's try to work on a bit of that, shall we? Let's get some upgrades whilst I'm teching up and underneath the 50 food mark. we got a large army on that side. Let's go to town on this. Alrighty. More upgrades, I think so indeed. Right. Healing cells are needed. Can't do our harass yet. I did want to get like one tower maybe just by here. So I can get access to the Zeppelins. Oh, it looked like someone's thinking about doing something similar. Why hasn't he popped out? 
Hmm. Okay. That'll teach you a little prick. Nah, what I tried to do was pop my Shadow Hunter out, which you can do if you stick your Blade Master in the middle. It's harder to explain right now. I'm going to concentrate and get my gameplay going so I don't fall too far behind here. But when I get a moment to chat to you about it, I will. So keep getting the researches. That's pretty much all research. Now we just need the burrows to fill this up as well. Good times. Maybe tower too. Because that guy... Like I say, for some reason, I don't think these people know that I'm who I am. But I do get a lot of focus. Unfortunately, this guy is also getting the focus. And well, he's, we're not prepared to help that. He's gone straight to Chimeras, though, so, so I guess what do you expect to some degree? Okay. Who's taking that experience? Right. Let's get some more Witch Doctors for now. Keep getting the upgrade for Shamans. Then into Kodos, into more Raiders. Speaking of which, if anyone does need wood, I got some spare. And we should definitely spend some up upgrades. Okay, we're gonna have to help him out. I need to actually get a town portal though. You got it. Oh. Let's see if we can get over there. Put that in my base just in case that other guy comes back. I'm surprised they actually left him. It's my Shadow Hunter coming out. I didn't actually rebuild him. Poor little fella. Okay, let's go into Raiders. Let's go into more casters. And uh, try to get the game going. I think they were thinking about attacking here. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get to keep my opportunity to keep building Zeppelins very easily. My allies has only got one expansion. This is a huge issue. I think I need to go on the prowl. As much as we're feeling like we're constantly on the defend here, having to deal with all these pests that keep attacking. I've not got much to harass with, but I can get those sentry wards down. Oh, they are going to go for it. Still on my own here. So I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, there we go. Finally get some help now. Right, this is some good experience right here. Time to get a Kodo. One Kodo, please. That's a great opportunity for some experience. They actually went for it. That was brave. Not the best decision. Right. Let's get everyone regrouped up. Good to go. Happy to be part of the team. And now Red's trying his shit over here. I think Blue managed to catch him. But fortunately for me... Do you see what I mean? Red wasn't going for him. I've got just as many towers. I don't know. Maybe he switched over to me because he saw how many towers the other guy had. Anyway... Let's continue with our lives and not get too distracted by all the shit that's going on. It is a lot. Okay. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Town portal, at least on one of these heroes. So you've got that. You've got that. You've got 
that, so you need a heal cell, you've got that, you need a clarity, you've got that. It becomes a bit more tricky when you're controlling three heroes. Another sentry ward. Sweet, let's go. Time to start taking out some expansions. I mean, my allies have really got some big units now. I don't honestly know if I'm going to worry about the Zeppelin play. You can see it be used, but my army, aside from the Kodo, which I might have to drop because of its slowness, but everything else is pretty nippy. I don't think I really need the consistent raiders and stuff like that, but we'll see. Right away. Right. More witch doctors, more casters. Did I actually get pillage? I don't think I even got pillage at this point, but to be fair, I haven't actually attacked anyone yet. Yellow was over here. I saw that. Oh god, they're going to give blue a hard time. Can he TP out? He needs to TP out of that. Or I can come over. But I'm going to be a while. He's got a pretty strong army, so I think I can get back over there. Not going to be much base harass. There's just too much action in Warcraft 3, which isn't a terrible thing. Well, we just caused three people to town portal out, which was nice. Let's just go into this then, shall we? Yeah, my sentry wards are going to get killed by the gyrocopters now. actually got too many peons. I almost need to lose some. Oh, I need to hotkey things again because we're getting too many units at this point. There we go. Let's kill this frickin' main. I think they're definitely in a lot more trouble than we are. Good. Good. Now yellow's over here to help defend them. Let's go to the next base then or something. Or keep sending those over there. I want run, one raider to come back. Or one shaman to come back. Back into mass raiders. Couple of kodos. More casters. Happy days. Lost all my hotkeys from the units. You 
Really need those witch doctors. Peasants. I need to just go and take over someone's expansion or something. Screw it. I need to lose them. But I had the spirit walkers, which of course I would try to get as well, but I think we're stretched enough just trying to get the witch doctors and all that at the moment. Packed. I can't really do these kind of raider strategy. I'm, I'm trying, but it's so action packed these games. There's no real action. Uh, there's no opportunity to be stealthy. Unless the enemy are a lot more docile. You can't really get away with it unless the enemy are a lot more docile, to be honest with you. Just have, that's how often you have to cast and snare. You can't even take your. Can't hold your finger up. For too long. You need to keep casting it over and over because it won't last very long on heroes at all. Hero is quite the deal. I'm saving my ultimate now. As you can see, this is it's not an easy strategy to pull off. Like just using raiders in general requires a hell of a lot of effort because they're not the best melee fighters. Is this guy still on it? No, he's finally given up as well. So it's only Billy Goat who's left in the game. We just trash the rest of these buildings. Screw them all. I don't care too much about the units getting lost. We'll just kill this all so we don't have any more annoying towers destroying me. Okay, good job, lads. We're over here getting ready to take over that. Why not take another base as well? Level 5 Alchemist, level 6 Blade Master, level 4 Shadow Hunter. The game really does get interesting from that point onwards. I mean, it has been great up until this point anyway, but if the game went on longer with those heroes, it's you are going to dominate a lot of the fights that come up past that point because they, they attack so damn fast and the Shadow Hunter is such a good support. Seven hero kills up with that. It's... It's really, I'm, I mean, I tried my best to uh, sort of like commentate during it, but I, the, it really requires a lot of your concentration, that kind of gameplay. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, then, well, thumbs up the video. If you didn't, I guess, dislike the video. And make sure to share this video with your friends or others that you think might enjoy it. And if you want to go a little bit further and help me out, then feel free to go over to patreon.com slash wittywarcraft, where you can pledge just a dollar or more and get yourself at least one Warcraft free video. And uh, that's a good way to support me if you like what I do. So thank you very much. Take care. Look at the video description if you are interested in anything I just said or any other social media that I do if you want to follow that. And have a good day. Bye-bye.